I love it when astronomy comes to the streets. This is a demonstration of the fact that as the Earth goes around the sun, we're not straight up. It's why we have seasons. And I just happen to have an Earth right here. Uh, the Earth is not uh, going around straight up and down. It's actually tilted over 23 and a half degrees. And if you have a city that's based on a grid like Manhattan or Toronto, where the streets are 90 degrees to each other, and if the east-west is the same east-west as the earth, then there's going to come a time where the sun will set between the buildings. And so that's when you get this Stonehenge or Manhattan Henge or Toronto Henge effect. They're happening now all over the world in sort of a fun way because Stonehenge, the original monument, was set up for exactly that reason, to use the position of the sun, the stars, the moon, the planets, to figure out the seasons so that when the shadows line up just right, they can say, okay, it's time to plant. It's just a way of keeping time over the year. Oh, I think it's fun that within the, the last year, we've had a solar eclipse. We had an incredible display of Aurora Borealis. And now we got this uh, Manhattan Henge phenomenon. It brings astronomy to the public. What would any of us do without Bob McDonald? So uh, New York, the next one is in July. It's a sunset henge. But what you heard him mention Toronto there, that one, Toronto Henge is in August, but it's sunrise. You gotta get up early.